Okay, in this video I will be talking about inrush current limiters. In this package right here are NTC inrush limiters. That is negative temperature coefficient. And what that refers to is as these get hotter, the resistance will go lower. It's an inverse relationship. The hotter this thermistor gets due to current, the resistance will go lower. And with a PTC, this is a positive temperature coefficient. As these get hotter, the resistance will go higher. I will start by talking about the NTCs. Now these come in different rated voltages. Usually the DC rated voltage is higher than the AC rated voltage. And depending on the circuit you will be using it for, you have to choose the appropriate voltage and current rating. Now this device is primarily used on circuits with transformers or small motors and it will limit the inrush current and it will also protect other components from being damaged with that inrush current. Once current starts flowing through this inrush limiter it's going to generate heat and as it generates heat the resistance, the internal resistance of this thermistor is going to go lower and when it goes lower it's then going to allow full current to flow into the circuit. Now the level that it will drop to will be a very low level, maybe 0.01 to 0.05. It depends on the thermistor that you choose. Now this component will also remain fairly hot while it's being used in the circuit. That's why you see it's on these legs. It sticks up on the circuit board just like that and it just cools off. It's made out of a ceramic material so it can easily tolerate the heat. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to connect this 12 volt power supply to a 1 amp 12 volt bulb that I have from a dome light in a car. And I'm going to connect it to the inrush current limiter. And you're going to see it start out slightly dim. Once it starts up dim, as the thermistor heats up and gets hot, you're going to see the light get brighter. That's when the resistance drops and you're getting full power. Okay, there's an NTC inrush limiter right here. I'm going to take this dome light bulb, 12 volt. I'm going to connect it. You got to keep a close eye as soon as it's connected. Just stare at the light because it's it's gradually going to get brighter. So you have to keep an eye on it. I'm going to connect it up. Getting brighter. Getting brighter. That's getting brighter because right now this is starting to get hot allowing more current at a lower resistance to flow through if you don't see it changing with this I'm going to remove the bulb and use a small electric motor and you're going to hear that it starts off at a very low speed the motor and it speeds up now the only flaw with these that I can think of is there is a delay period you have to wait to let these cool off if you have a circuit that's really dependent upon this inrush limiter and you power it on and off quickly you could have a problem because you're not going to get the full effect of the current limiting unless this has cooled off and usually you can wait about a minute or two and then you're good to go so if you turn it on and it's running it's going to get hot if you turn it off and on quickly you're only going to get maybe three quarters of an ohm if that's rated at five because you haven't given it time to cool off. This is a motor out of a Makita drill. I'm going to connect it. As soon as I connect it, you're going to listen and keep listening. You're going to hear it speed up gradually. Okay, I'm now going to power the motor up. Just listen carefully to the sound. You'll hear it pick up faster and faster after I connect it to mist up. Here we go. Clearly here it's slowly rising, and that's getting hotter.
Okay, I'm going to take this out of here now. What I'm going to do now is remove the NTC inrush limiter. I'm going to switch it with a PTC inrush limiter. Okay, this is a PTC inrush limiter. Now I'm going to show you the difference. And there you go. This is per fairly hot. And they're designed to only allow a certain amount of current to pass. And once you exceed the current, they will heat up and the resistance will rise. So it has a couple of good uses. One would be for replacing a fuse for overcurrent protection. And the other would be for taping this to a rechargeable battery with some thermal compound. Now the PTC inrush limiter is available in different resistance values, current values, and voltage values. You have to choose the proper size for what you're doing. Okay, so you saw that this bulb is a 1 amp. It powered it for a little bit and it went off. This bulb is a quarter of an amp and this will come on and stay on and won't go off because it's under the current limit. That will run continuously just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, you can see it's running steady. As soon as I add an extra load, which is going to be the one amp bulb, now you're going to see what happens. That's it, circuit shut down. It exceeded the current rating. The thermistor is going to be fairly hot, and everything powers off. Acts just like a circuit breaker and it automatically resets. You just gotta let it cool off. Okay, PTC inrush limiters in place. Now going to connect the motor. It's going to come on fast and because the motor draws more current than the rating of the PTC it will slow down and shut off. slowing down okay she's off and it's pretty damn hot I couldn't hold my hand on it for a long time but now when you remove the load let that cool it resets and full speed again Now PTCs are very similar to poly switches and I'll show you that now. This right here is a poly switch. It's a PPTC and what it does, it has an extremely low resistance and this one's designed for 72 volts at half of an amp. You can put up to a half of an amp through this. Once you put more, it'll heat up just like a PTC inrush limiter and it will disconnect the circuit. These are an excellent replacement for fuses. I'll demonstrate with this motor. Okay. I'm going to connect the motor up. Now if this draws more current than the PPTC, this will shut off. Alright, so as you can see, this motor is drawing less than a half of an amp. It's still running fine. I'm now going to put in this one amp dome light bulb and watch what happens. That's it. It's a neat, th th these are very neat. They react much quicker than the regular PTC inrush limiters. Now when this cools off, which is pretty quickly, it will reset and I can put this bulb in. Okay, so it'll, that will run continuously. Now the advantage of using a PPTC, the poly switch, is that the resistance is much lower. 
when you use the load. And then when you exceed it, it does the same thing as the PTC. It will disconnect the load. They're very similar, but this has a much lower resistance. All right, so I hope you have a better understanding of NTCs, PTCs, and poly switches, PPTCs. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you.